Good day everybody, Lou from Rubbertech. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick live demonstration of applying our protection vinyls and giving a set of views of our new bangers and boxes for today. And we're going to do a few simple things. Um, bottle of water with two or three drops of soap in it, um, any kind of sticky tape, masking tape, whatever you've got available, and you squeeze it just for an applicator. And uh, what you've got already on the pre cleaning, and um, got a video on our website. Uh, I demonstrate the importance of the king. Please feel free to go watch that. And it's really important. So please don't neglect the cleaning at all. The masking tape is just to apply on the corners of your of the decals. Um, the reason for that is so you don't need to get your fingers on the back of the vinyls um, so you can actually be able to hold it. Um, and this, is, this way you can actually lift it off the vinyl really easy without having to touch the glue and compromise the quality of that. There we go, it's hanging, soapy water, straight everywhere. And you don't, have, you don't need to be scared to actually to wet it, it will not be a problem. Uh, the amount of water will not affect the effectiveness of the glue. The only thing that does is it makes it a little bit easier for you and give you more time to apply it. And the reason for the water is you can actually, when you put it on, you don't have to put it on the exact spot first time. You can actually move it around. That's what the soap does. So it gives you a chance to move it around and get it in the exact right position. There we go. That looks good. And then you take your squeeze. If you don't have a squeeze, you can use an old credit card. Um, that will do exactly the same job and start in the center and start working the water out and as the water goes out the air will, will come out with the water. Guys, now the reason why I'm doing this demonstration is not because I'm underestimating anybody's intelligence or ability to do this, but a few clients phoning me the last couple of weeks saying say oh they had a mishap it's not it's not lined up well they got that trapped air underneath and uh, and once it's stuck then it's stuck you can't you can't um, fix it afterwards so it's important to do this right the first time here we go and it's as easy as that and once all the water is out leave it 24 hours or so to dry um, you can use it, you can ride your bike, just don't, don't wash it or pressure wash it. Just make sure it's, it's um, it dried up nicely. And then I'm going to give you a quick demo on the front or the side of the panel as well. The reason is a nice big piece of, it's a big piece of vinyl and, uh, and it can be tricky to line it up because you make pre-cut holes for, for the rivets etc. Uh, so I just want to show you how that's going to work. Get some guys, you can you can stick it dry if you're a pro. I don't recommend it um, because if you get it wrong, it's wrong. And once it's stuck, it's stuck. You cannot you cannot fix it afterwards. So this is really easy, it's really simple. Again, we lift this off the off the paper. You don't need four pieces, but just four ones so I've got more spaces to hold it. And again, we wet it. Actually, the more water you take, the better. It just takes a little bit longer for it to cure, but it's a, it's a safe way. And now we need to get this in the exact right spot. You see, it's perfectly cut for the rivets. Make sure they all line up. Good, good, good. All the edges looks nice. So take the squeegee. work the water outwards. You 
don't have to worry about scratching it. That is the purpose of this material, so it doesn't scratch. So uh, you can just work it as much as you like until everything is out. And in the corners where it, where it bends, you see this is where it's going to take a little bit of time. It will not stick immediately because of the water. But just get the water out as much as you can. And if it's, the corners are still want like to lift up, leave it for 10-15 minutes, come back and just run it with a squeegee again until it's all, all done and nice. And here we go. I'm not going to do this side now, I don't want to waste too much time. But that's the that's our end results. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.